you doing up? It's almost 3.30. It's the seventh night this week, I sat till morning. Great. Here we go. Imagining the ways you might have died. Ah, yes. And tonight's winner is? In a freak September ice storm with no warning. Because that happens. There's a gang war. There's a bird flu. Trains collide. What do we say about watching the news? Now you act all sweet and surly. But you swore you'd come home early. And you lied. You've got to let go, Mom. I'm almost 18. Are you snorting coke? Not at the moment. Hey, who's up at this hour? Your father. Go. Up the back way. Why does he hate me? Because you're a little twat. You can't call me a twat. <laughs> <sighs> Everything okay? I thought I heard voices. Oh, just me talking to myself, you know. You head on upstairs. I'll be up for sex in a minute. Are you sure you're okay? Go! All right. They're the perfect loving family, so adoring. And I love them every day of every week. So my son's a little shit, my husband's boring. And my daughter, though a genius, is a freak. Still I help them love each other. Father, mother, sister, brother, cheek to cheek. Natalie, it's four in the morning. Is everything okay? Everything's great. Why wouldn't it be great? It's great. I've just got three more chapters of calculus, a physics problem set, a history quiz, and two pages on floral imagery and flowers for Algernon, which is just like, duh. Everything is so under control. It's just like, calm. <laughs> Honey, you need to slow down. Take some time for yourself. I'm going to have sex with your father. <laughs> hey, thanks. I'm so glad I know that. <laughs> Times like these, I wonder how I take it. And if other families live the way we do, do they love each other or if they just make it? And if other daughters feel like I feel too, cause some days I think I'm dying, but I'm really only trying to get through. For just another day, for another stolen hour. Isn't that great? <laughs> Christ, I'm loose. That'll teach you to take a whole ten minutes. What's that? I said, isn't that a beautiful day? I guess it's rainy and windy and really cold for September, but it's a beautiful day out. Makes you want to dive in with both feet, doesn't it? Absolutely. I never have any idea what she's talking about. <laughs> When it's up to you to hold your house together A house you built with patience and with care And you're grappling with that gray and rainy weather And you're living on a latte and a prayer Can you keep the cup from tipping? Can you keep your grip from slipping in despair? Hey, 
anything to do the shopping today. I'm slammed at work. We're out of everything. I keep cave clean. You go out, get fired. <sighs> Absolutely. Again, no idea. <laughs> about it's just a blip. I'll finish cleaning up the sandwiches and then we'll go.
not the white ones. The white ones are taken with the round yellow ones, not with the triangle yellow ones. The triangle yellow ones are taken with the oblong green ones with food, but not with the pink ones. If a train is leaving New York at 120 miles an hour, another train is leaving St. Petersburg at the same time, but going backwards, which train will reach London first? Who's crazy? The husband or wife? Who's crazy? To live their whole life? Believing that somehow things aren't as bizarre as they are. Who's crazy? The one who can't cope, or maybe the one who still hope, the one who sees doctors, or the one who just waits in the car. And I was a while 25, and I loved a wife so alive. But now I believe I would settle for one who could drive. The round blue ones with the oblong white ones, but not with the round yellow ones. The yellow ones with the trapezoidal green ones. With food. Split the green ones into thirds in a tiny chisel, then take a mortar and pestle to grind into a fine powder. I go pharmacologist, and I... It's like an odd romance. <laughs> Intense and very intimate. Psychopharmacologist and I call it a lover's game. He knows my deepest secrets. I know his name. I know he'll never hold me. Always take my coat. Diana, bipolar depressive with delusional episodes. 16 year history of medication. Adjustment after one week. I have less anxiety, but I have headaches, blurry vision, and I can't feel my toes. So we'll try again, and eventually we'll get it right. Not a very exact science, is it? So walked a castle and pierced bar and sadness. Difficult clonop and ambient Prozac. Thank you, doctors. Valium is my favorite color. How did you know? So, the thing about jazz is how do you ever know if you're getting it right? You're just making shit up. Which is also known as the act of creation. Oh, so you're one of those pretentious stoner types? That's totally unfair. I'm not pretentious. And I'm definitely not classical. It's so rigid and structured, there's no room for improvisation. You have to play the notes on the page. Yeah, and what did Mozart know anyway? He should have just smoked a bowl and jammed on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Goodman Diana, second adjustment after three weeks. Delusions less frequent, but depressive stay worse. I'm nauseous, and I'm constipated. Completely lost my appetite and gained six pounds, which, you know, is just not fair. <laughs> because of following side effects, one or one to see his drowsiness, sexual dysfunction, headaches and tremors and nightmares and seizures, anxious and singer, exhaustion, insomnia, irritability, nausea, vomiting, hot and alarming sexual feelings. Oh, one more thing. Use may be faithful. Use may be faithful. <laughs> Goodman Diana, third adjustment after five weeks. Reports continued mild anxiety and some lingering depression. I now can't feel my fingers or my toes. I sweat profusely for no reason. I have wasted like weeks of practice time in here with you improvising. Oscar Peterson was classically trained. Beethoven did cocaine. Miles Davis went to Juilliard. Mozart wrote poems about farts. Fortunately, I have absolutely no desire for sex. Although whether that's the medicine or the marriage is anyone's guess. I'm sure it's the medicine. Thank you, that's very sweet. But my husband's waiting in the car. Who's <laughs> crazy? The one who's half gone, or maybe the one who hold on, remembering when she was twenty and brilliant and bold. And I was so young and so dumb, and now I am old. And she, you've never been in a choir, the sex. 
I'm nowhere else. All these blank and tranquil years seems they've dried up all my tears. And while she runs free and fast, seems my wild days are past.
gonna be good, you'll see. Smile and chat, and just like that, it'll all be all okay. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be, gonna be, gonna be great that way.
my hand. Could you leave me, Dad? It's me. Could you let me go under? Why can't you see? Could you watch as I drown? I wonder why. I am bleeding. I'm bleeding. Are you wishing? Are you wanting all that she can't give? I am bruised and you're broken. Are you hurting? Are you healing? Are you hoping for a life to live? To help you to know. Well, so am I. Tell me what to do. shit's inorganic. <laughs> and totally ineffective, apparently. I'm old school. Dying breed. All the preppies and the jocks are reading their parents' medicine cabinets, popping Xanax and snorting Adderall. Really? But I'm the master of the lost art of making a pipe out of an apple. <laughs> right. You're the MacGyver of pot. You promise this will help? No. What? Superboy and the invisible girl, son of steel and daughter of air. He's a hero, a lover, a prince, she's not there. Superboy and the invisible girl, everything a kid ought 